Tonight, the new search for remains and the killing of a 19 year old Milwaukee woman. Prosecutors have charged Maxwell Anderson with homicide, mutilation and arson in the death of 19 year old Shade Robinson. Sade Robinson was a shining light in her community, beloved by all who knew her. The 19 year old had big dreams of pursuing a career in criminal justice after graduating from Milwaukee Area Technical College. Her family set up a GoFundMe page to honor her memory and give her a dignified farewell as they struggled to come to terms with the sudden loss of their daughter, sister, and friend. Her former boss shared that Sade was a social butterfly, always brightening up the workplace with her outgoing nature and friendly conversations. She was known for never missing work, so when she didn't show up for her shift at the local pizza restaurant on April 1st, her co-workers were immediately concerned. The day before she disappeared, Sade had plans for a date with 33-year-old Maxwell Anderson. She texted a friend saying they were going to get seafood, and the two were seen together at a nearby seafood spot where Anderson used to work. The next day, Sade failed to show up for work, and attempts to reach her went unanswered. Worried about her safety, her co-workers closed the pizza shop for three days to focus on finding her. Police were also called in for a welfare check on her apartment, but she was nowhere to be found. As news of Sade's disappearance spread throughout the community, efforts to find her intensified. Despite being originally from Mississippi, the community banded together in search of their missing neighbor and friend. A sense of community anguish over this unspeakable tragedy permeates the air. Dee Dee David, one of the many volunteers helping in the search for missing young woman Sade Robinson, fervently expresses her support. I don't know the family, but I want to make sure they know they are loved and supported by the community. I hope more people will join us in searching for Sade. However, as more details surrounding Sade's disappearance begin to surface, a chilling truth becomes apparent. Sade's 2020 Honda Civic was found burned beyond recognition the morning after her date with David Anderson, a man who had now been charged with her murder. Despite the extreme fire damage, detectives were able to find remnants of Sade's belongings within the wreckage. Thanks to a location-sharing app on her phone, authorities were able to trace her last known whereabouts before she vanished, from the seafood restaurant where she had dinner with Anderson to a nearby sports bar, then back to Anderson's home, and finally, Warnemont Park. It was there that police would tragically discover more remains belonging to Sade. As the investigation continued, even more grisly evidence emerged. A human leg was found on a nearby beach, appearing to have been violently removed at the hip. Forensics experts confirmed it belonged to a black woman approximately five feet tall, matching Sade's description. And when officers searched the area where Sade's car was found, they made another gruesome discovery, a human foot and what appeared to be human flesh. All signs pointed towards one conclusion. This was Sade's body. With overwhelming evidence, including surveillance footage, phone records, and witness statements, David Anderson has been charged with first-degree homicide, mutilating a corpse, and arson, facing potential life imprisonment if convicted. The facts mentioned in this complaint cause complainant to conclude that the defendant intentionally killed and then dismembered Robinson with the intent to conceal the homicide, states a criminal complaint in the case. However, Anderson's attorney maintains his client's innocence, stating, we will vigorously fight this matter in court. Sade's mother, Sheena Scarborough, has expressed relief at Anderson's arrest, calling it justice for Sade. But authorities are still investigating whether Anderson may have other victims in his past. The tragic and senseless loss of one young woman has now sparked fear and concern for others who may have fallen victim to this seemingly remorseless killer. I never expected this to pull up on my front door. An unimaginable couple of weeks for Shawnee Robinson's mother, Sheena Scarborough. This isn't normal. This is a 2024 Jeffrey Dahmer. 
a comparison many are making as Sade's body parts keep turning up across Milwaukee County. The last time I spoke to my daughter was on Easter Sunday, okay? We seen her. She came by my parents' home. We spent the Sunday together. The next day on April 1st is when Sade was first reported missing. It's also the night we now know she was killed. Sade was a beautiful soul. She was an amazing girl. I couldn't have asked for any better daughter. There was things my daughter did that many adults were not even able to accomplish in their lifetimes. Shawnee was set to graduate with her associate's degree next month. This has caused so much emotional effect to my family, her, her, my parents, who love my baby so much her grandparents, her uncles, her aunties, the community. Everyone has pulled up. This has affected many people in Milwaukee. Over the last several weeks, friends and family of Sade have spent countless hours searching for her body to give her the proper burial she deserves. They messed with the wrong family. We're going to call all of them out and we're going to speak for the whole community because I'm not about to sit down and I'm not about to sit still on this one. It's justice for Sade, Nancy. It's justice. Y'all know what y'all looking for? Yes. Okay. Uh, I just want to warn you. Grit and determination through grief. Another day of searching for Sade Robinson's remains and searching for closure for her family. I think everybody's just overwhelmed. Tracking through water and mud, Robinson's cousin sits in Warnemont Park after searching all day, too exhausted to go on camera. It's just tiring because we, we're not getting anywhere. But the, our family needs peace and we need closure, so I, I don't, I don't want to stop. A group of about 20, they're searching places mentioned in the criminal complaint of Robinson's suspected killer, Maxwell Anderson. <laughs> accused of scattering her body parts across Milwaukee County. The search party spent most of Saturday looking here in Warnemont Park. People we spoke to say they came out to help search to try to bring peace to Robinson's family. It was really hard terrain and you kind of be, have to be a madman to do it well. This is Robinson's friend Josh. Like I felt compelled to do that. I owed that to her. The pair met at Pizza Shuttle where Robinson worked. She was gorgeous and her smile could like brighten anyone's day and she just had that personality where she could cheer you up. The group is still learning how to organize a widespread search party and they're doing it with little help. I've never been part of a search or anything like this before. People want to get on the water because obviously he, she might be in the water and we don't have the resources. In Warnemont Park, Emily Pofall, WISN 12 News. The Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office telling 12 News tonight all known locations have been searched multiple times, also saying the search is ongoing as they continue to identify possible new locations through investigation. And the man charged with killing Robinson is on your screen, Maxwell Anderson. He's in jail tonight on a $5 million bond. He is expected back in court later this month.